I'm doing a whole house and detached garage system. I'm using a combination of techniques from B&B drainage, French drain man, and apple drains. I'm in Wisconsin. This last winter we hit negative 28 a couple nights and a lot of other negative temps. So uh, I'm kind of doing a combo of uh, online. I see a lot of contractors putting the downspout straight into the uh, corrugated pipe. So I'm doing that. I'm also trying a few drain grates to see how those work. So the first one I did was this where I had to add this gutter because I had a lot of a lot of roof here going into this gutter and it all used to go into that downspout right there. Well it overflowed pretty easily so I added this and then I was getting ice and all kinds of uh, sump pump issues on the driveway because of all the water there. So I drilled the, or uh, sawed the driveway. I got solid dual wall four inch going through there because there isn't a ton of slope. Learned that from French Drain Man. Uh, I use single here for all the corners and stuff. I even wrapped, or I even put a little stone down around that pipe and wrapped it, even though it's solid, just so the water that gets under the slab has a way of getting over to this French drain here. So this has really helped uh, the sump pump issue a lot. Started here with a French drain. The solid pipe makes a right corner, and the, but the slotted stays separate. So now I got two pipes going down this French drain here. This is all dual wall, four inch solid, and just regular old slotted pipe from Menards, NDS probably. Uh, <clears throat> comes out over to here into the pop-up so that's the first one I dug all that by hand uh, most of them I did with the trencher I just had too many so there are 10 tons of drainage rock I should have bought washed rock I didn't know that clear gravel actually had some limestone in it still it's like ah, whatever Got about a ton of uh, river pebbles left there still, inch and a half. I'm kind of somewhat German, so I get a little uh, detailed. I even wash my old stuff. It's lightning out. Oh, great. Anyway, let's go on to some of the ones that I used a trencher on. So another couple downspouts here, straight into the pipe. These are still waiting for the grass to come up. Got that working. Another one around here. Do that. It's working pretty good. Later I'll get to one where it's not draining all that great. But I think it's just because of the slope of the gutter. It doesn't put a lot of water into it. Still working on this one. This one was tricky. All the utilities came in through here. So I still have it temporarily piped. I'm going to put a, a basin in this one here. 12 inch basin. Run it out through here. And I'll show you what I do at the end of each one. So I'm making a little bit of a drywall at the end of each I have a six inch auger so I just a two horsepower so I use that to dig then I'll put fabric down in there fill it with rock and then in the winter the water has a place to go so it doesn't freeze I'm using regular NDS pop-up emitters they come with the weep hole now so I don't have to do that and I just let them weep into there uh, I regraded this here. All I did is along that brick line, this is last year, I uh, just made a divot under the brick so the water has a way to flow down to here. Actually, when I moved into this house, it was awful. So this is second wave of drainage. The first wave was grading. I bought 12 yards of dirt, and everywhere around the house, I pulled the rock out by hand. It's a three or 4,000 square foot house. Um, pulled that rock out 
put in dirt, put fabric back, and then push the rock back. A lot of times I had to take the rock up to the driveway with a, I got a riding mower and a trailer there for that. So another downspout. Um, this one's temporarily piped again. I'm going to do a French drain right here. I'd like to continue it up on under the deck someday, but I'm not going to do that this summer. It's sloped in there. I've put a lot of dirt in there, but it's already settled a tad. But I believe there's still a little slope. So I'll have French drain here, connect to the catch basin, the 12 inch is going to go here. I'll run that downspout into the catch basin and then we'll go along the patio. I dug along this patio with a Vermeer trencher. It worked out okay. Absolute mess though. It's just muddy as hell. I got some of them cleaned up the day I trenched, but obviously I didn't have time for everything. So what are you going to do? So there's another dry well. It's about two, three feet deep from the post hole auger. So I, my soil doesn't perk all that great. Somebody walking around the house more. We'll go down here later. That's the detached garage. That's sitting right next to Token Creek. So that was not built high enough when it was built originally. That that's where most of the problems are and what prompted this project. But I started with the house because I want it to work right. So in this area here. I have two downspouts and a French drain all going into one line. So this gutter up here coming down into that downspout, this is the one that I'm not getting a ton of flow from. I think it's just the slope up there. I've already tested it with a hose. And there's a little slope, but I think most of the water goes to that part of the downspout. Anyway, so this is all dug with a trench or two. It comes down through here. Then I hook up to the other line here. This was part of my original project five years ago. I dug a swale through here. This whole area in the back of the house used to flood in that corner. And there, there was kind of a hill right there, but now where the um, the plain dirt is, I dug, I dug that out with a Toro Dingo, something like that, five years ago. And now I've ripped it apart again. And now I've done a French drain. So... This is, uh, I dug this with a trencher. I just hopped it back and forth to make the 12 inch wide trench. I'm playing with the bricks here. I'm not going to keep these lines. I'm going to make a flagstone path over this. I'm going to landscape fabric the whole thing. That natural rock's going over there somehow to make a nice line. I'm a terrible designer. Um, but I'm going to put a bunch of drainage rock down here over the landscape fabric. Lay down the flagstone up to my, that's my back workshop there under there. Um, and then I'll fill it in with, I don't know, pea gravel or some more of this pretty rock here, whatever. It'll look pretty good. So, anyway, these lines go down there, they meet here, they keep going down here, and then they emit over here. So another pop up emitter. This is all dug with a trencher. That's working. I've always had problems with the sidewalk too. I'm the I'm the lowest guy on the hill. I have an entire hill. And it goes way, way up there for about five, six houses. All comes down to my lower garage there. And my uh, I always have a river on my sidewalk here too. So I've had uh, this is all city property. I don't really know what to do. All I've been doing so far is I, I cut in these little trenches right here. It gets pretty darn deep here. Um, probably going to cut a few more in. I got a few more over there. Pretty crazy. There's two more. It drains out pretty quick though. Anyway, I got to cover two more downspouts. And then we'll go down to the lower garage where I really haven't started too much yet. The lower garage is where I'm going to rent a mini uh, skid steer 
and a excavator and do the French drain man treatment to that. So um, another downspout. These downspouts, I upgraded them all to 4x3 five years ago with drainage phase one. Uh, and the, the holes that the contractors, whoever built the house, put up there were ridiculous. They're barely bigger than my thumb, so they always plug. I made them full size. I just, they're, they're a full 3x4. So this one I'm trying to drain grate. I'm just, you know, see how it works. I'm putting in three drain grates. All the rest are directly into the pipe. I'm going to experiment. We've got negative 20 or 30 temps again, and I have issues with any particular technique. I'll fix it next year based on how it works here. I've also had ridiculous ice dams. So on these northern valleys, I'm going to install heat cable, and I'm also, I've spent a ton of research on the best gutter guards. I never liked gutter guards. I've kind of given up trying to do without them though. I'm going to put gutter guards on these back uh, 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 gutters. Oh, anyway, so here's one that I, I, so this one I dug by hand. So I put sod back. I, it's kind of time consuming to do that manually. It worked okay though. <clears throat> so this one's going pretty good. Sidewalk is a river. So last downspout, we're back to the driveway again. And the pile of rock over there. So that's that's the tour of the house. But we got one more here. Back of the lilac. So this is where the sump pump comes out. Saw a lot of videos on how to do a freeze proof sump pump catch so I'm just using there a four inch elbow I put a drain grate on top of it I think I'm gonna extend that little pipe a little more and uh, that's my sump pump there I gotta adjust it a smidge but this doesn't freeze anyway because it's sloped down so everything always comes out of there and I never get much water in the winter anyway so that downspout's going directly into the solid four come through here. I used a trencher on this one as you can tell. And the pop-up. I've had so much rain um, it just washes my dirt away. I'll fix that later. Okay, down in the lower garage. This is where uh, <clears throat> the water table here sometimes is uh, at the level of the soil. I had so much frost heave this winter that I couldn't even close that side door there, the tan one, for about two months. Uh, the slab is cracking, the slab is bowed. I gotta dry that slab out under there. So uh, the general gist of the neighborhood is I have a, like you barely see it, but there's just a swale that previous owners, or a previous owner cut comes down here, goes to the right there, a little culvert pit. He put in a lot of mounds of dirt here because the garage used to flood out in a rain like this. My neighbor and him through the woods here, a long time ago, cut a channel down there. So they cut that channel with uh, wheelbarrows and a shovel by hand and all the water goes to the left of my property and then it enters my property at the wheelbarrow there. I mean, the, sorry, the burning barrel. So I get standing water everywhere. Uh, I got gutter issues. Obviously, I already know what the problem is there. I'm going to reslope this gutter and both gutters and both downspouts are going to come out the front. That's the first thing. We got a lot of water here. So the gutters are going to go into these trenches here, come down into my culvert pits. I pull all the rock out of there. I'm going to redo it, dig it out a bit. I'm going to put fabric in there, put the rock back. Culvert goes over to here. This is all existing. 
it's, it's super wet here. I gotta build a driveway here too. Another, the other downspout is gonna be transferred from down there to here. And it's gonna come down this way to here. End of the culvert comes out here. And I had to dig this, this, went, this uh, spring. It was just pulling up so much here and in the trees right there. So I dug a little channel. That's my uh, swampy area. And there's a culvert that goes under the bike path right there you can see and then crosses the road over to the creek over there. So the plan, I actually have this drawn out on a JPEG. I'll just show a JPEG later, but I'm going to take that swale that the previous owner made years ago and I'm going to continue it. So I'm going to ring this garage with a French drain. There's going to be a decorative sidewalk here with a flagstone. It's going to be all American wash round rock with flagstone, some kind of nice brick edging or something, whatever, but it's actually going to be a drain. And then I'll also French drain two lines to here, and then I'm going to French drain around the entire perimeter of my property. Take care of all this stuff. Uh, my neighbor's swale, I'm going to, with the excavator, I'm going to continue the swale without ruining his nice evergreens here. I'm going to continue the swale and build a berm. This is where the water enters my property right here. And it goes all the way around the edge of my... You can't see it through the thick grass, but then it goes into the swamp right there. So this is a river, basically. And that is the edge of my property. So I am going to 